do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos genetic engineering and genomics when i say about this chapter it means genomics means genome the complete set of an organism and genetic engineering means multiplying or manipulating the genome of an organism for our own interest in this chapter we'll be studying how humans have manipulated genome or dna of every individual or or every organism for their own benefits we'll be studying about vaccines now when i say about vaccines you all have had vaccines or taken vaccines when you were ill or you had fever and as soon as you took vaccines you became perfectly all right now if i say vaccines are nothing but dead organisms how are you going to feel about it they are nothing but dead organisms which are injected inside your body yes we are going to study about vaccines and how vaccines are made hello students in this part we will be studying about vaccines okay we all have taken vaccines some point of our time some point or in some part of our life when we were ill once we took vaccines we became completely okay now what do I, if i say that vaccines are nothing but dead organisms you have been injected a dead organism and soon after some time you become perfectly all right yes students vaccines are dead organism now let me explain how does vaccines work or what is the fund of vaccines let me consider a simple polio virus now polio would be caused because of some organism or typhoid would be caused by some organism so for example typhoid typhoid is caused due to salmonella typhi now when i am given an injection of salmonella typhi or typhoid injection i am given injection of dead salmonella dead salmonella is injected into my body and once dead salmonella is injected into my body all the fighter cells of my body they start coming up they all start accumulating up when i say fighter cells it could be wbcs antibodies plasma cells everybody starts coming in to kill this organism once everybody comes in they realize okay this is a dead organism let us go back to our places so everybody revert back to their places now in the meantime what the fighter cells of our body do or the immune cells of our body do they make a photocopy or take a picture in simple language of this organism of this dead typhoid organism and once in real life for the next month or the next year suppose live salmonella organism comes into your body so now all the fighter cells are ready in your body waiting for them everybody comes in all the pictures are brought in and all the fighter cells plasma cells wbc cells all come up within few seconds and kill this organism this is the basics of vaccines so when vaccines are made there's a pattern that is followed for example for the production of polio vaccine the first thing what they do is they take the organism the polio causing organism now what they do they kill that organism after killing that organism what we get is nothing but toxin or you can call as antigen antigen is nothing but the toxin of the organism now to this antigen what they do they add two things one is the diluent and another is the adjuvant now diluent is nothing but distilled water this is to increase the concentration of the injection and next one is the adjuvant adjuvant improves the immune response of the vaccine now this all together three things the antigen or the toxin of from the organism the diluent or the distilled water and the adjuvant which improves the immune response while you are taking the injection together makes up the vaccine after certain processes this is the basic of vaccines so if i can say the definition of vaccines vaccines are nothing but they can be dead organism or sometimes partially dead when i say partially dead it the term is attenuated so it can be dead organism it can be partially dead or attenuated organism which are weakened which have from them some of the harmful organism or some of the harmful bacterial species have been removed and now this organism attenuated or dead organism are injected in an individual 
as soon as they are injected into the individual, the immune response or the fighter cells of that in individual awaken up and they all come to tackle the problem. This is the whole basis of vaccines. So let us study how vaccines are made, what are vaccines and what are the various examples of vaccines. Vaccines. The definition of vaccines are it is a suspension or extract of weakened that is attenuated or dead germ or organism which when injected into a healthy person it elicits or activates immune response of fighter cells. Let us study what are vaccines and what, how vaccines are formed. Vaccine production. We take an organism, for example, if we have to make polio virus vaccine. So we take polio organism, we kill that organism and after that, now that killed organism has developed into an antigen or toxin or harmful substance produced from that organism. Now we take that antigen and mix it with diluent that is water to increase the concentration and adjuvant that will improve the immune response. After processing the diluent, antigen and adjuvant you get vaccines which could be injected in an individual. The most commonly available vaccines are hepatitis B vaccine and herpes vaccine. Thank you.